on guys, it's Jake here with Allen Lake Marine. Joining me today is Roger with ACL Electric Motors. Good morning everybody and thanks so much for allowing me to give you a walkthrough on without a doubt the greatest innovation in our industry in my lifetime of being involved in the marine industry and that is electric outboard motors. We now have Jake at the command center of the new electric outboard uh, engine. And we're going to give you a real quick brief walkthrough on how easy it is and how safe it is to operate the electric engine. Here is our key. You're going to, there's a couple things you're going to like about this. This can do geo fencing. That means if the boat moves for any reason, it will send off an alarm on your cell phone to let you know what's going on. The most important part of our key is that it floats. Here is the throttle control center. And this is, a, by Coast Guard standards, we do have the emergency uh, shutdown. In order to charge up this system, you'll see the microphone on the front of the key and then attach it to here. That now means that you're in gear and you're prepared and you're ready to go. One thing that I would really like to point out on this entire dash panel, there is not a fuel gauge. <laughs> so we've eliminated the gas tank. It is no longer part of it. All of your 12 volt systems now operate off the main battery bank. This is called a VCU, which is a, a vehicle controlled unit. A couple things that are important on the VCU. Number one, inverter temperature. We do not th want those to exceed past 100. It's now calibrated in Celsius. We'll have that change this afternoon uh, over to uh, Fahrenheit. Down below, you'll notice 96. That's what our battery charge unit is in right now. Below that, you now have the operate. You have the ability to operate the trim and tilt from this position, and then we also have it incorporated into the trim handle. If you notice down below, it says light. Now, if you'd swing around, JB, and show it that we illuminate the entire engine. This boat will operate with our three battery system wide open. It'll run for 45 minutes. So that means you can pull skiers, you can pull tubes, even at that you wouldn't run it on maximum P RPM. We have tested here at Island Lake on this lake, which we will do here later on in the video. If you get it down in the light green area, that now gives you six to half, seven hours of, of boating at somewhere in the neighborhood of 18 to 19 knots. Jake, if you see this black box down here, we call that the intelligence box. It tells how much electricity to pull from each battery. So let's say we pull 10% from that battery then this brain will automatically kick over here and start pulling another 10% from this and from the third battery. That's all part of the battery management system. This box right here comes from the intelligent box, feeds into this, and then tells it how to distribute the electricity accordingly. Real quickly, I wanna give you what a couple of our different charging options might be. This particular unit is 110. A unit which is a 14 hour charge unit. Our 30 amp Jake is about uh, seven hours, and our 50 amp is about three and a half hours, so it almost cuts it in half. Uh, option wise, you're looking about $1,500 to $2,000 between the charge units. So, this particular unit to go to the 30 is around $1,500, and then go to the, the 50 is another fifteen is another $1,500 or a total of $3,000. You can see this is a regular standard plug that we're using. This is the plug-in on the side of the boat with a safety lanyard on it, and it is waterproof. And we did we mounted this uh, plug, Jake, on the side of the boat, even though it's waterproof, so that it would not have an issue as far as rainwater getting into it. So Absolutely. we mounted it on this side. If you'd be kind enough to plug that in for me. The, the unit is fully charged. It's at 96 or 97, Jake. We've got it charged all the way up. Whenever you see the orange indicator on here, okay, that indicates that it's not charging. That tells us that the battery is totally full. So Jake, now we're gonna talk about the engine itself proper. And I, I would like to impress upon you, everybody goes, wow, it's electric, I don't understand it. Where's the carburetor, where's the distributor? Well, we really don't have to put up with those things. Basically, there's a couple things on here. Number one is the inverter. So it takes 100 watts and converts over so that it'll drive our engine, okay? And then along with that, some wiring and some cooling system. So if you'd be kind enough to give me a hand, we'll lift off this engine. This is the water cooling system. It's a regular standard impeller. It's electric driven. For any reason, if there's ever a problem here, Jake, it will indicate it up on the heating unit. Okay. Uh, on the on the front of the fashion you see. 
This is really the main purpose of, of our company, which is a cell. We own the patent rights and we invented the first inverter. So every inverter that you see on motorhomes and every inverter that you see in RVs, this is the guy that really does it here. This is our 75 horsepower engine, but at peak, it develops 115 horsepower. So now we cool the inverter and we cool the engine. The water system comes in through the lower unit. By the way, Jake, I'd like to point out to you, all of our boats come with a stainless steel prop. And we don't have to fool around with changing prop for higher altitudes. So a lot of times with a normally aspirated engine, we lose 5% per 1,000 feet. Well, you and I both know that we're a mile high here. Absolutely. Now we have a 25% power deficiency on our gas engine. This engine doesn't know the difference between uh, sea level or 5,000 feet. So we can run the same side prop all along. So Jake, probably one of the greatest things about our engine is during the manufacturing process, we got involved with the company that built all the lower units for Yamaha. And their patent had run out. So we are using the Yamaha lower unit as what's good for you and for our customers. Any prop, vertical shafts or anything they physically need on this engine, mm -hmm. they have it here at this facility. Jake, I would like to show you briefly uh, our cooling system. So it's ingested through these portholes here. The pump pumps it up, comes through here, then goes over and runs in, cools the inverter. And then on the inverter, comes over, drops down, cools the housing on the motor. If you see right here, you can see here. And then it exits down to the bottom and then comes out through the exhaust portion of the, of the prop, just like it does on a standard gas engine. So, uh, and, and honest to goodness, we would have, it would have been great if it could have stayed out of the cooling business, but the efficiency is just so much better. So we decided to stay with that as a, in the process. As I mentioned earlier, even with our battery system, you will still have the full features of all the 12 volt system. So your Bimini top, all your radio facilities, all your gauges, all your underwater lighting and everything that facilitates off a 12 volt service will be serviceable on this boat with our battery bank system. Jake, I think you felt as much as I did the response and how quiet this boat is. It's truly incredible how much torque you have, you know, its performance is incredible. It really is. So we were getting, we, and as you know, we probably lose about two to three miles an hour with the top up. But we had a good solid uh, 21 knots. That's relaxed right at up 23 to 24 miles an hour. Well, Jake, I can't thank you for taking the time to demonstrate this boat and some of your feedback on how well it performed. Uh, the kind of mile per hours we got out of it and how quiet it physically is. You know, we at Acel Electric Outboard Motors are so excited to the fact that we have Island Lake Marine as our uh, dedicated dealer. And you are going to have the ability to not only drive this boat, to see it at the Denver Boat Show, which is going to be in January. If you'd like to come to Island Lake Marine and drive the boat and get an opportunity to find out how great and what a wonderful experience it is with the new electric outboard motor.